Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 11 of our Feed the Beast Neotech series. Today guys, I want to do a little bit of upgrading on our armor. Now, that might not have been what you're thinking, however, our armor is lacking and there is something I read in my comments of last episode that intrigues me. The dragon, when not one-shot by armed god fists, is actually really really strong in upgrades throughout the fights. So, I want to be able to get a set of new armor, that being the pneumatic set. Now, eventually we'll get quantum but for now there's nothing much better than pneumatic red matter armor does exist however we won't be able to fly with it because the swift wolf yeah the swift wolf's rending gale is not in this pack if we look up equivalent exchange it's been disabled by the mod authors or the pack developers i guess so we won't be able to fly with red matter anyways so there's no point of actually using that so what i want to do is make the pneumatic one and i have all the upgrades listed right here and then we'll make an aerial interface so that we can charge our armor remotely as well now one small thing i did off camera other than getting a a bunch of resources from our infinite drills with our transmutation tablet here. I have made, as you've seen here, some red matter stuff, and that is so we can make a power flower. And if you ever play Tekka Classic, you know what these are. These are a staple of equivalent exchange. It is simply a red matter collector or any type of collector feeding into a relay. So there's three collectors here feeding into this relay right here. There's actually another one on top, and each one of these feeds into a condenser. Now this setup is the exact same on all sides and this condenser here has 6.6 .6, many many numbers e to the eighth power of emc to say the least i've collected a lot of emc so if i put say a i don't know i think that is emc advanced pressure tube this entire thing would fill up with advanced pressure tubes instantly so we have a lot of emc to work with and this thing has just been gathering emc and it's not the biggest you can definitely make it more or more larger however these guys have a transfer limit rate so unfortunately they can't transfer any faster already because they're like you see the buffers permanently full so i just come over here with a client star omega which i've also crafted and these guys here the client stars allow your lifestone that we made last episode to actually work so having a turnalis view in your inventory doesn't actually make the client star work however or sorry doesn't make the lifestone work but having a client star which you can fill with power just like i showed you right there you put it in this little power slot it'll fill with uh power and then say if i jump off here i get instantly healed thanks to our lifestone and we use up some of our power now you can't see the exact amount but yeah pretty pretty cool one other small change I did is I started making beryllium dust. This is by electrolyzing emerald dust. So I stopped our emeralds from being turned into emeralds and just left them as dust and then imported them into our electrolyzer just over there. As you see, the little setup. And we have 12,000 beryllium dust thanks to it and a lot more aluminum. And speaking of aluminum, more titanium to craft. And we also have a lot of silicon thanks to that as well. So we have 24,000 silicon, which allowed me to make a lot of non P doped and N doped silicon plates. So we have a bunch of those well pre-made up for when we get back into the hvh and then down here one thing i do have is 370,000 bauxite dust that has to be processed i've gone ahead and thrown four advanced upgrades in here but this guy still doesn't process nearly fast enough but we have so much aluminum at this point that i'm not too concerned about fixing that at the moment however that is something that needs to be fixed the rest of them are keeping up really nicely now i want to jump right into thematic armor obviously so the first thing we have to do is actually get into some pcbs now this is just a bit pneumatic craft however pcbs will allow us to do a few other things things like make a flux compressor so we can use our power to make it however we're using diesel at the moment and i'm not too concerned about that we can actually also make rf out of pressure so that's cool and then obviously the assembly platforms and all that we'll have to make a solar compressor never used one of these before but we could also make one of those and that allows us to make more module expansion cards as well but other than that pcbs and pneumatic craft aren't too used in this pack however we do have to go ahead and do all of pneumatic craft to get it so if you watch the f2b sky series you'll know how this is done however it's pretty simple we just have to make some NT. PCBs and the assembly controller, which means we need to make plastic sheets. Plastic sheets, pneumatic wiring. I assume this is just a gold nugget. That's just tagged incorrectly. Yeah, it's just a gold nugget and some redstone torches, which is pretty simple. All right, now with everything actually tabbed, I completely forgot about this earlier. However, I'll make one of those and I do need some more compressed iron, which is pretty, pretty easy to get actually. What I will do is I will go ahead and take off our pressure chamber for this guy right here. There's always bats right here. They always turn invisible too. But what I can do is turn this guy off, tell him to import only iron blocks and then PCBs once we get to it. So you, you, and you. Perfect. And then we'll just hook up a chest right here and do this. And that way this guy can actually process it. And also I actually want in and out. 
and then we'll do empty PCBs in there as well. And that should bring everything back into this chest and only pipe out what we want. Oh, and we also want compressed iron to go in here. Actually, no, I guess I want two setups because I don't want these to export as well. Yeah, we'll have to do two setups. Yeah, we'll do something like this and we will take this out. We'll just do export on you. Then here we'll do iron, compressed iron blocks and PCBs. Perfect. So that should do that. This guy shouldn't need filtering. Oh, he does. There we go. Should be good to go. Yes. Perfect. And then we can compress iron over here. Perfect. So thankfully, I've gone ahead and got some plastic sheets for free, which is really nice, I will say. The way you get it normally is just by using polyethylene to convert plastic sheets at a 272 to 60 degree temperature, which is really easy. We have a lot of polyethylene and I'll show you why. You have to submit a thousand bucks of polyethylene for this quest line, which I went ahead and did. Down here, as you remember, we have our ethylene tank. I've changed it into a polyethylene tank. And what I want to do is throw a thermonomatic processing plant right here. And this should convert it all into plastic. And then, yeah, pretty simple. I will throw an item pipe and then a chest on this. And we'll get plenty of plastic because this guy here just makes polyethylene on repeat. Thanks to a bunch of chromium dust I've thrown in here. But yeah, I did it so I can get a thousand, but it also gives us plastic. So I will set that up so with a dispenser upgrade and a chest and if we go this way eject north stick this in here this should eject right i mean we can do eject up that's fine why don't you want to eject up interesting okay well i guess we'll just pipe it out i mean that should work i don't know why it's not but yeah that'll give us plastic and that's really easy and we will need plastic for some things also my charges are over here i really should get a better place for it since i will need to charge my armor eventually but for now i'll throw the amatron tablet in here now the next thing we have to do is make the uv light box here which we got from our drone and we should have plenty of plastic so i'm gonna bring some up eh, about a stack and a half not bad or just under a stack and a half i guess but oh wrong area if i head over here i should have some curved plates perfect and with these we can make some pressure tubes so uv light box nice I forgot about the etching tank, I'm not gonna lie. But these guys are also really easy to make. We just need a small fluid tank. And it doesn't want to craft. Okay, we will make, we'll spawn one in. Well, sorry, I will grab all the resources for that. All the recipes with small fluid tanks don't seem to work. I'm not entirely sure why. Both the liquid compressors and all of them don't work. So I believe I cut this out of the last video, but what I did to get the liquid compressors is simply do this. So I will type in, what's this, the etching tank? And this is just something, like, I'm pretty sure they're QJS or errors. I've done reload, I've done everything possible to do it. However, there's just simply some errors in the pack that we can't control. So we'll have to use what we can. So that's the etching tank, and then obviously we need etching acid. Which is the same recipe as usual, I assume. Let's see. Oh, it's firely mix, but pretty much the same. Other than, it's usually water in these three ingredients, but this time it's etching acid. I wonder if I can just take a bucket out of here, like this. Interesting, you can't. However, this tank back here should be full of Ireland mix. Yes, you are. Perfect. And then we'll do the same thing over here. In here, I want to etching acid, and then here we'll do this, 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 and this. And that should be good. Also, yeah, emeralds are removed. Perfect. Oh, wait. This is so finicky. I guess I technically don't need a whitelist on both ends, but it's fine. And I'll charge my Amazon tablet while I wait. And also the UV light box can go here. Threshold 100, perfect. And etching tank doesn't need one, but we'll stick it right there as well. And we need to throw the etching bucket on this side. You know what? I'm just going to turn the whitelist off on this side. I don't know why I have it on. It, may, it literally makes no sense. Perfect. So, throw the etching acid in there. And we need to make some PCBs. I completely forgot. So, we need plastic sheets. We need gold nuggets. I'll do a stack of each, why not? And then redstone torch. Perfect. And it's one to one, right? I already, I already forgot. It's two, three, one. I should have known. That should be good, correct? Yes, two, three, one. Okay. We'll make three stacks. Can't hurt. So we do something like this. And all three stacks should go in. There shouldn't be an issue. And slowly but surely, as this climbs the pressure, we'll get our PCBs one by one. However, it is still importing items, so we have to wait a bit. And this should climb to 1.5 bars. Yeah, perfect. And then I'll be our first PCB. And then we can start etching it immediately. And bingo. So we should see one right here. Yep, 12. Perfect. So I'll etch them. Sorry, I'll UV box them. And why don't you have at least one bar of pressure? Oh, it's slowly climbing. I guess I am using all the pressure for this chamber. And this should... PCB it immediately, pretty much. 
Then we will etch it. And I will give him... So we'll do this. This is only at 17, so it's going to take a while. But if I throw a boiling block below it, I wonder if this will raise its temperature. I don't think it is. I thought a mega block would definitely raise its temperature, but it doesn't seem to. Interesting. Maybe it's because it's enchanted. But then I don't understand the point of boiling. Good to know. However, with these guys, we can actually go craft our first PCB. So we'll make... Capacitors, which are sheets, slime balls, and gold nuggets, and then slime balls, plastic sheets, and redstone. So if we throw that in there, we should be good. Yep, perfect. So fun fact, reading is key when it comes to quests. I feel like I've automated this before. However, if I extract from the side and do unassembled from the side, this should extract automatically. Yes, okay. So yes, you have to extract from the side, not the top, not the bottom, but the side. Now this is a mess of pipes back here, but we're fine with it for now. Not a big deal. And this does give us four finished PCBs, so that is enough to actually make the armor. And this gives you jet tier one boots, which is really nice. We'll do the assembly line later, not a big deal. Aerial interface is what we want though. However, this guy doesn't need the assembly line, so I'm not entirely sure why it's required. I guess it's for the advanced pressure tubes, but we got these from a village. So, haha, <laughs> we have one right here. Perfect. Head back upstairs. Once again, I don't know why I made so many PCBs, I'm going to be honest. We don't need that many. But that gives us four. We'll get another four, and then we can use these to make the full set of armor. Perfect. Get rid of this armor, which isn't bad armor, by the way. Put this guy on and get ourselves a free stack of jet boots. Now, the way you actually work this guy is you have to throw it inside the charging station to get upgrades. So, if I open my armor here, I have jet boots, which enabled hover and enable smart hover. So, with jet boots enabled, I should be able to slowly fly. However, obviously it's not the best flight possible at the moment, but we can upgrade that further upgrades. However, I do obviously need the charging station to do so. But for now, I will disable the jet boots and we'll head upstairs and get ourselves an aerial interface. I know I had yellow dye somewhere and this is what it was for. <laughs> oh, that guy is loud. I'm just going to take those out. Oh, I have to take the jet boot upgrade out. My mistake. So with these guys, we can make our first upgrade, make our second upgrade, and then we need phantom membrane and potion of slow falling. So we'll need a brewing station. And we will grab our phantom membranes. And that should be enough, I believe. I need two, and then one. And then, yeah, we don't need any for that. So yeah, perfect amount of phantom membranes. We're well, not perfect. We have an extra, but it's all we need. And we'll just check it down right there. Oh, we already have three bottles. So this is just awkward membrane that. So if we grab some nether wart. And we don't need this anymore. What else do we need? Nether wart, redstone, and then obviously the phantom membrane. Oh, and we need blaze powder. I don't make potions often, to tell you the least. So I want to make the arrow interface. Perfect. And obviously we can't do the quest complete without this guy here. So we need to make ourselves an assembly controller as well. Which means our PCBs down here will come into handy. Where are they? Perfect. And that was all the transistors and capacitors made, right? Yeah. I worry that I might not have enough. We'll see. So import, laser, I need more plastic. And then export, wait, import, export, perfect. The assembly platform. And it wants a controller, obviously. Do I have enough PCBs? No, I don't. And I'm out of transistors. Dang it. Okay. How many transistors do I actually have? Six. So it's just the capacitors I need, which are slime balls. So also, if I head down here, I should be able to convert these. Oh, I need pressure to do that. I see. Well, this should give me still 1.5 bars. We'll see. Let's see. Can you get to 1.5 bars for me? You should be able to. Oh, wait. I am taking off the wrong one. That'll never get to me to 1.5 bars. And I'm out of tubes. Of course I am. That will get me to 1.5 bars. Yes, perfect. Oh, and also, I could have just gone this way. That probably would have been a lot more efficient. But we've already made it this far. So, we'll make these. This should be a quest? Yes. 
Oh, that gives you a regular to two module. Nice. And then these guys are simply the drill program, which is easy enough for us. 31 capacitors. <laughs> Should be more than enough. Oh, that's actually just enough. Well, in that sense. But that means we need to do this. Perfect. And then assembly platform, import, export, laser. And we'll throw some speed up raids in you. And then I can throw those in there. Oh, we need a drill program. Oh, it does want an assembly drill. That is bizarre. I don't know why. It shouldn't need an assembly drill to do this. But I guess it does. Interesting. It might have always done that. I'm going to be honest. Make ourselves a drill. Are you running? Yeah, you are. But you have nothing inside of you. Okay. Cheers. Probably titanium. Now you're going to work any day now. Hello? Does this not want to work? Yeah, I've never not seen this work before. Very bizarre. Yeah, it still doesn't want to work. It's most interesting. I'll try to reload. It's still not working. Okay. Well, we're going to do some more cheaty cheaty. And we'll throw this into creative and grab out proper amount of pipes. Because that guy is clearly not working. And I definitely am doing that right. I know that for sure. So I'll grab myself a stack and one. Now, what I want to do with this is actually I can do it down here. Is use my liquid compressor. Which I don't really want to add extra pressure into. So we'll do something like this. Turn you around, pipe out like that, and we'll do aerial interface. Now I do need wire, and this will both charge. Now I do have a pocket generator on me with a tornadoes fuel in it, since you know that was kind of useless. But I do have my pocket generator on me that charges my pickaxe here. However, this guy will also charge my pickaxe, which is super nice. Let's get connect him up to power. Perfect. Now it's slowly getting FE, charging something in my inventory, I guess. Yeah, it'll slowly charge with power, it'll slowly charge with pressure as well. This guy just needs a security upgrade and some speed upgrades, and then we'll be fine to go, pretty much. Speaking of speed upgrades, I will take them from the etching tank, because, yeah, we don't really need that speed upgrade anymore. And then we'll make more in the future. Also, I believe one of these gives us security upgrade. Volume, speed, dim chest, regulator tube. Uh, that gives us a speed upgrade, or security, sorry. But I have plenty in here. And I do need to cool this guy down. Yeah, he is getting quite hot. Well, that's a bit more pneumatic craft for us to do, which is pretty easy, so that's not a worry. So I'll grab some heat sinks, and then we'll grab some air gate modules, and we'll grab a valve safety tube module, sorry, and I will grab some expansion cards, which we can only use four of. That's fine. We'll make more in the future. So heat sinks on all sides. Then we will do is grab pressure from here. We'll do air grate module like this, one like that and these guys will push us so what we're going to do is upgrade them with the expansion cards and then if you hit f1 it'll tell you what you can do we'll do at player like so and this will filter everything but a player so if you hit f1 it'll tell you matches players and then if you use prefix that it'll invert so we're going to invert player and we'll do the same up here expansion card same thing and same thing there so this guy should be a lot cooler now yep 40 degrees five speed upgrades pretty nice and we're capping off at 20 bars of pressure. Perfect. And I will throw a safety module in there just in case. Now with our arrow interface set up, I want to go ahead and make some upgrades for the armor, obviously. And still falling, we'll throw the redstone in there. So big one we need is obviously the charging upgrade. Oh, that's a quest? For what? Wait, I'm so confused. What is that a quest for? Where was that a quest? I'm confused. Oh, up here. Oh, grab the bricks out, make another one of these, and then we'll make the charging upgrade. Perfect. So if I go install this in my chest plate, now I can use these. However, to get the next upgrade, we actually need elytra and end rods, which we can't really get right now. And then obviously we need the elytra itself for this. So without those, we can't really do much. However, we can make ourselves a scoop upgrade. We can make ourselves a gilded upgrade, some armor upgrades. Oh, that's way too many armor upgrades. Did not mean to make that much. Whoops. I will make some speed upgrades. Do I have the tank in here with lubricant? Oh, we're out of lubricant. So what I'll do, put this guy back up, 16 buckets, make some speed upgrades, make some volume upgrades, <laughs> more than enough. And if we do speed, armor, jet boots, oh, we need security upgrades for all these too. I don't know why I threw this many volume upgrades in there. That's actually just insanely troll. Okay, I didn't throw any volume groups in this one for some reason. Interesting. And then we'll do security, scuba, three volumes, armor, only one security. Then we also need some speed upgrades for those. But now we're super fast. I will take the boost down to about 40%, fall protections on, jet boots on, smart hovers on, 
step assist will take off scuba is on perfect so we now have flight not the best flight but we are iron man we can fly around and then smart hover and we shouldn't ever lose pressure slowly but surely these guys refill as you see and we're good so now we finally have flight i'm probably going to go ahead and turn off Ooh, my vertical surface fast enough to take damage thankfully we have our life zone on us so we don't need to worry about that however go we'll throw all this back in here and we are finally good so this will allow us to adventure better also just fly around our base finally instead of having to walk constantly and we can always enable smart hover which allows us to get down easier but yeah the flight's obviously not the best but it's pretty fast without jet boot tier 5 so i'm not going to complain ouch cool now there's not much else i really want to do speed boost is pretty nice probably want step assist and jump boost actually now that i think about it yeah we'll see the flying the flying will definitely take it in use to i haven't used this armor in so long i think i think the settings are fine and we can zoom around the map with our armor on 23 meters a second not too bad and our armor is still remaining fully pressurized pretty much just takes a bit of kick up to get the boots working but yeah we're overall pretty decent here i'm really happy with this i'm gonna wrap up the episode there everybody a bit of a short one definitely but we have ourselves a full pneumatic craft system if we ever need it for any more pneumatic craft stuff which we might do but we have our iron man suit next episode what we'll do is actually progress through the hv age Sorry about the shorter episode, guys, but I hope you still enjoyed nonetheless. If you did, leave a like on the video. If you want to see some more content or don't want to miss any uploads, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to teach me something or if you learned something, leave it in the comments below. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.